G'day guys, welcome back. <gasps> Look at my dirty hands. Uh, right, now this is part two because I've still got two cups of paint left from that um, three, three jiggle pours that I did. So it was, if you haven't seen it, I was gonna do five cups, but I ended up doing three and it was plenty. So I've still got two left. Um, and I've got a little bit of silver left. Um, please see my previous video for full instructions. I've mixed my pouring medium with just the Floetrol and the Montmartre paints. Uh, my white has got some satin enamels in it. And my silver is this one here, the Deco Art Metallics in silver. That's that one there. I've put some tape on the edges here to stop my paint from flowing sort of too much over the sides. So I haven't decided what I want to do yet. I think, well, I don't like things in equal numbers, so two would look a bit weird. Three's okay and five's okay, one's okay, but two is just not okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay out my silver. So this is just the uh, Deco Art silver, metallic silver, and it's mixed two parts float troll to one part paint. And this is what gives us the pearls. And the white deco art satin enamels gives us the clouds. So I'm hoping for kind of a bit of a cloudy, maybe a little bit of a pearly pour. <laughs> we'll see. So that's it there. Um, don't want to spread it out. So I think what I'll do, mm, I don't know. I think what I'll do is I'll start in the middle. I'll travel up that way with one and I'll travel up that way with the other. Okay, and we'll just see what happens see what happens or maybe I should start there and then come in um, hang on let me have a think about it the whites in the bottom it's going to come out last so if I start there finish there the white will be in the middle all right I'm gonna have to do that so let's go Just going to do a little bit of a, a jiggle. And I want to kind of end in the middle. Shouldn't be doing this. Probably ruining it now. I don't know what I was thinking. It's because I've got all this blue down here with nothing in it. All right, uh, now I can't pull back the other way, so I'm gonna turn and do the same thing with this one. Looks as if I might have silver joining between the two. No, I don't want silver joining between the two. Oh, see, this one, I poured it differently. I haven't got any left to go back up the middle. That's okay. Right. Um, now, what will I do now? What will I do now? Nothing, 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 nothing. Um, so when you're tipping these, you only go up and you only go down. It's a bit, shame, a bit of a shame I've got all that silver in the middle. That's because I joined them. Hey, I should have started in the middle and gone out. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> just, just having a play. Now, I've got to cover some of this with the blue because when I tip it's going to be difficult for the paint to get into these corners so I just cover them first because I know it's going to have trouble getting to those corners this is probably not going to work, you guys, because I've got this huge big silver gap in the middle now. But 
but it's done so we'll just have to make the best of it hey all right let's do this let me clean my hands <laughs> it's looking really weird maybe i'll actually maybe i'll do a little bit of movement and try and join these two together i think i'll do that actually that's not going to even work um all right i need to take that silver out Okay, I'm going to join these two up. Okay, now we're just going to go over. Okay. Over the edge, actually, I'm I, I'm just going to give it some movement. I wouldn't normally I wouldn't normally do this um, on this type of pour, but it's not a it's not a standard pour, that's for sure. Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to turn it around. I'll try and get some of this off. Actually, I don't need to do that because I'm not going for straight lines, so I won't worry about that because I've got these big blocks of blue here that kind of need to go. Back to the middle. Take some of that off that side. Sorry if you can't see. <laughs> I got blue on that corner and blue on that corner. It looks pretty cool. And there's something in there. Um, It's tricky trying to get something out. You just make it worse. I'm just going to see if I can move this a little bit more. Get rid of some of that blue. I'd really like some pearls to pop up. I'll take that off because that looks a bit phallic sitting there in the middle. All right, now I'm going to turn it around so that you can see. I'm going to get, some, get that corner off. Where's the weight of my paint? Just need to take that off. Ooh, it's looking really oceany. Looks like, looks very aquatic and oceany. All right, now that's it. I'm not going to move it anymore. I got rid of the bits that I didn't like. I've kept that beautiful blue there and the beautiful blue there. And then we've got the white down the centre. So I'm going to give it a torch. Again, not at all what I had in mind, but I really had no idea when it came to this one because I just knew that I had to get the paint on the canvas. Let's just use this little bit of navy here. And... Torch and see what happens. So, no silicone in this paint at all. Got a few pearls coming up along the edges. Um, I'm not expecting a lot of pearls because, again, I had a lot of paint on the surface. And um, when you when you stretch your paint a lot and throw it over the edges, that's when your pearls come up. So I didn't really do that because I was sort of keeping my my design, but was loud wasn't it we'll see what happens I mean they, they still may come up some come up over the period of the next half hour or so but you can see them along the edges here that's where the paint's gone over and rubbed against other paint and makes the pearls pop up so you tend to get more around the outside I don't know if we'll get any here but 
I'm just going to go around and make sure all my sides are covered. Um, and then I'll put it on pause for about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. I don't think it'll change after that. Make sure you run your little stir stick underneath. Catch those drips. That was a pretty quick video, wasn't it? It's not like me to do quick videos, that's for sure. Okay. <clears throat> Get my gloves off. I'll take you down for a, a bit of a close-up. Let's move these out of the way before I drop them in my painting. I'm going to go around the other side because I've got I've got the other painting sitting on the floor. I'll show it to you. It's just on the floor down there on your right. It's really cool, actually. Like, you know, considering I had no idea what I was doing with this one, it's really quite cool. Turn that ring light off. Squeak, squeak. So there's the other one down there. Let's have a look at it. Go around without standing on it. So that's it there. We've got, as I said, I did three three cups and you can see it's got the silver pearls around the outside there and then through the center we've got pearls where the the silver was so very cloudy very pearly and she wouldn't mind doing another one with um maybe not the white and just the silver and see see how that goes anyway back to this this one here that I've just done what do you think I like how it's got that bright thalo blue on the outside. That line there is just a reflection of my tripod. There, I'll move it out of the way. So there's the pearls. We've got pearls on the sides. Not that it matters. On the sides. This is a 30 by 60 centimeter canvas, 12 by 60. 12 by 24 inches. Hmm, look at that squiggle there. That was where I came back up with my, my cup. And I had to sort of move it around because it was looking a little bit phallic. So now it just looks like, I don't know, a tail or a spine of a dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's some pearls. Look. Oh, look, they're popping up. Pretty. So nice. Good to see you, pearls. Where else have we got pearls? So anyway, I'll come back. It's looking very, very sort of glacial or aquatic to me. With It's like an ice chamber, hey? What do you think? Oh, and look, we've got those little cute, whatever they called in the centre. They're pretty cool. Those white ones. My poor camera doesn't know what to focus on. Oh, I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong focus. Did I do that for the whole video? Mm, better not have. I probably did. Look at that. Oh, we've got more pearls popping up there. Yeah, I was on the wrong focus. I have to look back on my video. The, probably the whole thing's out of focus. No, it should it should be right. It's just I'm on autofocus now that I'm zooming in on everything. More pearls, more pearls, and we've got some stripes. All right, um, I'm going to leave it at that. And I don't know. I don't know that I'll come back. I need to go and have a coffee. It's after lunch already, and I haven't even eaten yet. This happens every day. <laughs> I get so entranced with what I'm doing, I forget to eat. <laughs> Love it. So love it. I can't stop looking at it. I don't know what to look at, which section to look at first. Love it. Let me know if, if you like it or not. Um, and I'll, I'll put the finished product up, the finished photo, I should say, up at the end of the video once it's stopped moving and morphing and purling. All right. I'll see you real soon for the next video, guys. Love you all. Bye for now.